Hey PN, it's Wednesday. Okay, I lied, it's not, it's Friday. I just got done watching Rebel Reb's video and he did such a great job and I hope that we have him back and I hope you guys enjoyed him. He's very fun and awesome. And I'm so glad he decided to be on Project Nerdy. I'm filming this on Friday because next week's super busy for me and I start my new job and I just wanna like be on one page all the time and not have to think about too much. So this video's a little early and so I don't know what everyone's already talked about on Monday and Tuesday so I hope I'm not repeating myself. So this week we are talking about uh, Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog which was really, really revolutionary, I think, in making web content. This came out in 2008, so at the time there have already sort of been web shows, but this was like the first real kind of Hollywood-esque production to come out and do a web series. And it was really cool because it actually happened around the time when the writer's strike was and um, no one was producing any content. And so it was really neat now to to have uh, Joss Whedon, who writ wrote and directed it, to just kind of come out and be like, I'm going to make a web content and no one's going to stop me because it's an independent production and I'm not on a strike. And it was so cool to like see it come out and see, wow, these are huge names. We have Neil Patrick Harris, Nathan Fillon, um, and just little, little cameos from super famous people. And so it was really, really amazing to watch. And I think it honestly revolutionized web content. There is just something about the first act, um, act one or part one, when I was first watching it that just really drew me in, that it was so vlog style. And I love that he's, you know, talking like, so, you know, that's great. I'm a superhero. Just so, you know, it's like we'd seen this a million times with the thousands of other vlogs that we've watched. And um, there's just this great moment where he's talking and he's like, um, he's like, yeah, so I can't really take over the world yet. And it's just been really hard. But anyway, emails. And that just, to me, I was like, that's perfect. That is vlog style. That is what we do on YouTube and in vlog content. And I just loved that he, uh, that was kind of in there. A lot of the scenes of the movie, like the laundromat scene in particular, um, was filmed like in and around LA. And I think that if Nick has any time tomorrow, um, I know he's a very busy guy, but he should stop by the laundromat where that uh, certain scene was filmed. It's 1372 Sunset Boulevard near Echo Park. So if you're around, Nick, you know, I know you're super busy and I'm giving you like a day notice, but if you want, you should film some stuff there because that'd be awesome. Um, it would make me nerd out pretty hard. I just kind of wanted to say what Dr. Horrible meant to me when it came out and when I first saw it. And um, it was fun rewatching it this week. I hadn't watched it in like a year, so it was really fun. And I love Dr. Horrible and I love anything Joss Whedon does, of course. I'm just like such a like follower of him. My nerdy pleasure this week was buying a Spider-Man Snuggie because I saw it and I thought I need that. Anyway y'all um, that's my video and uh, Nick I will see you tomorrow.